MMAfighting.com and we're here with James Gallagher and the Bellator London Media Day has become the James Gallagher Media Day all of a sudden. Yeah, um, do you know what I mean? I'm the only one left. Everyone left about an hour ago and I'm still here. No, but they always they always try and get kick all the media away and I'm like, well, why not? You have all spent money on flights to come here to interview me so you can post stories to earn money. Do you know what I mean? So what, what the f- why so I need, like do you know what I mean I need you as much as you need me, so why not just be patient and wait? And I've got all the time in the world. Do you know what I mean? What am I going to do? Walk around London shopping or some crap? Or can I just speak to the people who support me and are getting behind me and and just make everything easier for everyone? Well, I can tell you that they're all very grateful for you as yeah. well, James. So, um, but uh, of course, it was a, a big viral moment that there tends to be when James Gallagher's in town. Um, it seems that Mike Kimball. Um, and you had to be separated earlier. Uh, we, we got some footage of it, but it had already kind of uh, transpired before we got there, so to speak. Can you explain what happened there? Because uh, there's uh, a lot of people online wondering how, what kicked off there. Yeah. Well, for a long time, he was like 1 0 when he came onto the scene or something. And, uh, he was trying to get a fight with me, which is everyone does, which is what you do in the fight games. You know what I mean? You talk shit about me, you run me down, you say I'm crap, I'm not real, he's real. This is why he was saying, I don't want to deal with this realness because he's from the hood and some little gangster bullshit that I don't give one fuck about. Do you know what I mean? I don't care where you come from, mate. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, an Irish, I'm a proud Irish man, and that's that. Do you know what I mean? If you want to get into it, we'll, we'll, we'll soon see for people who know me. If you want to get into that, that bullshit, do you know what I mean? Nah, do you know what I mean? That's, not, that's just not where I go. Do you know what I mean? I'm on my way up. I'm not, I'm not going back into them deep roots and stuff. And... People know me, know me, and know what I come from, and know what what's what. But he was giving it all this, the big one, and that's cool. Nothing but respect him. Get that fight made. Or, yeah, he's he's never we're never gonna fight. He was one and zero. Oh, I was seven and something. I was like seven and fights. He had fights at the time. Now I've got like eleven. He's he's and uh, he kept talking shit about me, and we've got the same management. And they were like, oh, is this not me? Is it a bit much? You know what I mean, he's saying all this shit, and I was like, no, nah, it's cool. Let him be. Let him say it. Do you know what I mean? He's just trying to get a name for himself. I understand it. No, it works. It's a tough game. Get the, get the most out of it that you can. But then he posted a picture of me standing with my mother, with my arm around my mother, and go, she should have swallowed the sperm cells that made this waste this space or this something negative about me. And I didn't say no more. And that's it. And I walked in there today and I seen him. I didn't speak one word. And I went up and banged him a left hook on the chin. And that's that. And if he says anything else about me or my family again, I'm going to deal with it in my own way. It seems so. That that was probably what had just happened before we we, we saw. And it, it seems as though like I think it's well known uh, how much you love your mother uh, and your family, how close you were. Do you think he specifically said that to uh, get his name out there, like you know, by by trying to provoke you because? In, in the hopes that something like this would happen where he, he could be in the same headlines as you, you know? Well, as a young man, he's, I think he's a year or two older than me. I'm just a young man as well. I will never, ever disrespect a woman of any age like that. I don't care if it's my mother. If it's if he had said that about a woman that I don't know, I wouldn't have been happy. Do you know what I mean? You do not res- disrespect a woman. A woman should have swallowed what? That, that's... that's that's filthy horrible it's the lowest kind of scumbag that i have ever came across in my life you do not speak about about a, about a grown woman like that never mind her being about my, being my mother that's a different that's a different thing again how i feel about that because it's my mother but on a general scale you, you just don't speak about a woman like that and that, that the respect that i've got got for women and for the respect that i've got for my mother and the respect that i've got as myself as grown up as a young man and how i want to conduct myself for people do you know what I mean i've got young kids on my instagram he i'm sure he does as well and they're saying this is how you you say you speak about women like this you you say them things nah that that's not my level i'm i, I don't, i'm not i'm not that low do you know what i mean so i don't care if he's trying to provoke anything yeah he was trying to provoke me all along that's cool then he just disrespected women and the woman who's my mother, which he don't do. You know, it's obvious that he probably wants to fight you if he's talking to you about things like this. Um, but do you feel as though like that's giving him exactly what he wants? If you if you were to say, oh yeah, okay, I, I want to fight Mike Kimball now, do you think that would be playing into his hands? I will never, ever in my life fight Mike Kimball inside an MMA cage, ever. <laughs> 
I want to ask you about Kyle Eleanor, uh, the fight that has been booked for February, of course, and you are the main event again, which isn't all isn't a big surprise to anyone based on the the other two events. But um, I was speaking to Kyle earlier, and he was saying, you know, he, he has to uh, he he has a lot of respect for you because he said unless James had had a spoke up, this this fight probably wouldn't have happened again. And after I'm the good talk, I'm all talk, always on, I'm always all talk. And that's what you call a big set of fucking balls and going and saying what you're doing, you're going to do. Do you know what I mean? Mike Kimball, I didn't say nothing to him. I just went up and smacked him. He's, it's, he tr- asked to come to Dublin for the last show. I was like, yeah, of course you can come to Dublin, but you won't be leaving it. That, that's what I said. You, you, you won't be leaving it. I seen him here in London today. Didn't say one thing and went up and did what I had to do. Do you know what I mean? And, and that's how I am. I'm just as I'm real. Do you know what I mean? They, they can say I'm all talk and it doesn't bother me because that, that's how real I am. I messaged Cal when he pulled out and I said, mate, you get your thing sorted. I said, I'll fight you again, no problem. Beltar, he got cleared. I said, give me him. That's the next one. They go, all right, then there's the main event slot in Dublin back again. Why, like, do you know what I mean? You just get it on the main event. I said, fucking right. Do you know what I mean? I deserve that. He deserves that. Let's do it. I stuck to my word. I got, I got, I made that happen. So I did, he got cleared and then I went and made that fight. And that's me sticking to my word. That's because I'm a man of my word. He seems to be, uh, you know, he's, he's gone through a terrible ordeal over the last while. He had the, the brain issue, which was later proven to be not an issue at all. He's medically clear again, but uh, his mother passing away recently as well. Um, is it harder to prepare for a guy that you, you sympathize with in some ways? Like, I mean, do you have to separate what, what's gone on in his life with the, with the task at hand, so to speak? No, I don't because he's trying to take away my dreams. He signed the contract to take something away from me. I, I, I don't wish his problems on any man. But that man needs rest. He needs to go and, and come to terms with himself. He doesn't need to be in here fighting me. And he's going through a lot at the minute that I wouldn't wish on anyone, but he's walking in here half the man he actually is. And when you step up into the Jimmy show and you have me chirping in your ear the whole eight weeks and the, I was fucking 15 weeks now in the build-up, that, that's a heavy, heavy load. And he, I can see him, he's agitated, he's not with himself, he's, he's not present with himself. And that that's a dangerous thing walking into a fight. Do you know what I mean? You're not you're not 100% focused, and I'm going to be prepared. That's all I have to say. I'm showing up in shape. I wish him all the best, but he's walking in there half the man that he actually is. When he goes to his bed at night and has a little doubt, he's got so much going on. He's going to think I have to do this, I have to do that, and he's all but James. Boom! It's at the top of his thoughts every night before he goes to his bed. Ah, <sighs> Oh, I wouldn't like that. I would hate that. So I wouldn't. That's how he is. Unlucky, mate. Unlucky. I'm. I'm the one that you came. I'm the one that you've got to face now. Your your star is incredible to watch. Like what you've done so young. Uh, these main events in in Dublin. I I even said to you um, off camera. Like I, I never thought we'd see nights like that again in Ireland. And now they're happening. And and you're the main event. And I feel like you know there there must be part of you that's like I love doing these Dublin shows, but I also want to get over to the US and and you know show the people why everyone in Ireland is reacting the way they are. Is a hard balancing act because I know like with the results they've had in Dublin with you as a main event, they're gonna want you to do that every single time. Is it hard to to fit that in like maybe the two Irish shows and then an international show is, is that what you're kind of looking at at the moment do you think that's going to be your schedule yeah, yeah I would love to do this one and then maybe a Madison Square Garden cart you know in the summer but what I love fighting most about home is that you don't got that big 40% tax bracket that New York is <laughs> do you know what I mean and that, that's a heavy heavy load you're like oh, wait a minute do you know what I mean? And so that, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. But I'm a big fan of, I'm, I'm, I'm dying to fight Madison Square Garden again. Um, uh, I fought there a few years ago, and it was something else. And uh, I've got a, good, a lot of friends in New York and a lot of people that I know over there, and and I feel like it, I deserve it. I feel like I deserve another slot in Madison Square Garden and be able to go and do that again. And and uh, I look forward to doing so. So I do in the future. I uh, bought a new car last week. I was feeling pretty good about myself. Uh, went on Instagram, and now I see this blue Mercedes. It looks like the Batmobile, and James Mobile smiling away. J- James Gallagher smiling away behind the wheel. Uh, you really wrecked my buzz that day, but congratulations <laughs> on a fabulous car. It's getting inspired, PC. No, no, don't let nothing wreck your buzz. Nothing wrecks, nothing wrecks your buzz. So that isn't you. No, that's how I am. So I did nothing if I, if I can't. If I can't do something with someone's doing, or I can't have it something that someone else has, I inspire by it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna achieve that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna manifest it, and I'm gonna go and get that. And uh, and that's just that's just how I am. And uh, and I went and bought a brand new car last week. It's the first time I've ever just went and 
spent so much money and just walked in and be like, give us that. Do you know what I mean? Like, much of it, I don't care, just give me it. Do you know what I mean? I want that, I like it. Do you know what I mean? And I just went and did it because why not? Do you know what I mean? I've, I've made a few smart investments. I'm going to go into property and stuff like that. And I got cleared to do all that and had it left. So I was like, why not? Do you know what I mean? And just go and do it. And it's that's it's nothing to me because the reason why is because I want to have one for every day of the week. I want my mother to have a car for every day of the week. I want my parents to have homes in each side of the fucking world. Do you know what I mean? And multiple, multiple mansions in each side of the world that they can just clear off to if they're feeling like it. They can hop into that car if they like it. They can do this if they want. And and that's why to me it's just inspiration for myself to see I can get this for my people now. I've already got it for myself. Now I'm going to go and do it for my people. So you're saying you don't want to swap for a 2015 Mondeo, no? <laughs> the brand new Merc, what? No worries, I'll do it for you, man. I'll do it for you. <laughs> Thanks very much, James. All the best, mate. The zero miles on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> nice.